And this the scene today in Brooklyn, New York, where leaders of the Jewish community demanded action against the rising number of anti-Semitic crimes in the Big Apple. The Jewish leaders specifically demanding justice for Blake Zavodsky, who was violently assaulted wearing an Israel Defense Forces sweatshirt back in 2021. Joining us right now to discuss former New York State Assemblyman Dov Heiken and Managing Director of Coalition for Jewish Values is Rabbi Yaakov Menken. Rabbi, uh, give us your take right now, sir, on what, are you observing uh, a rise in anti-Semitic actions and what do you think needs to be done? There is a, a clear and definite rise in anti-Semitic action. And the problem is that people are, are falling for this idea that demonization of Israel, the only Jewish state, is somehow disconnected to millennia of anti-Semitism. When you have a situation where there's a sitting member of Congress claiming that the only country in the Middle East with Jews and Arabs serving in its Supreme Court, its parliament, its government, its hospitals, its media, its universities, that's the country that she calls apartheid. That is spreading anti-Semitism. That is based on this classic idea that Jews are racists who don't care about anybody else. If you look at the reality, the longest lifespans for Arab populations in the Middle East is in that same country. So she needs to start focusing on real human rights and real liberties and stop spreading hate. Because what's going on in New York is directly related to what she is spreading in Congress and other public officials are not stepping forward to call it what it is. And Dove, speaking of New York, I want to get your take on this. Uh, Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg is being slammed for offering an alleged anti-Semitic attacker a six-month plea deal. Following the incident, Wasim Awada reportedly telling people he would, quote, do it again. Um, is this, I guess, lack of consequences for anti-Semitic actions part of what's driving the problem? There's no question about it. There is no justice for victims of hate or victims of crime, for that matter, in New York. People like Bragg are more interested. They have greater pity uh, for the perpetrators of crime than they have for the victims of crime. And this is a tragedy. Anti-Semitic acts in New York, in particular, are at levels never seen before, ever, ever before. And... Uh, there are no consequences. That's one of the things uh, our organization, Americans Against Anti-Semitism, found. No consequences. Yeah. You can beat up on Jews, you can attack Jews, and you get away with it. And that's uh, an example right there. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I also wanted to bring up before we went, the University of Michigan, there was a disturbing incident of anti-Semitism during an appearance from Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, Pro-Palestinian protesters chanted Intifada, calling for an armed uprising against the, what they're calling, Israeli occupation of the West Bank and Gaza Strip. The protests sparking Jewish journal columnist Blake Flayton to tweet at the University of Michigan, a call to murder Jews. Rabbi, your thoughts? Uh, he's not exaggerating at all. Intifada has always meant the murder of Jews. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the same congresswoman who I was speaking about earlier, Rashida Tlaib, represents Michigan. And here we are at the University of Michigan allowing for students to go walking through campus, calling for the murder of their Jewish classmates simply because they're being, they are Jewish and support Israel. Uh, that is racism. Let's understand from the beginning, the, the Palestine is the name used by European colonialists to dis detach the Jews from Judea. But for the last 2,000 years, Palestinians meant Jews. It's a stunning attack and the Jewish community and cultural appropriation at its finest for Arabs to now claim to be the true Palestinians and Jews don't belong in their own homeland and to use that as an excuse to call for murder and to do that on a campus with a high Jewish population. It's yeah. all completely outrageous. Yeah, and speaking of Representative Rashida Tlaib, before we go, I do want to share um, what she used her platform to say in on the House floor. Uh, let's take a listen. No person, not one, Palestinian, Israeli, anyone, deserves to suffer or die for who they are, 
what they believe, or where they were born. The sooner we end unconditional support for Israel's apartheid government, the sooner we can begin making good on that belief. Uh, a, a Dove, um, final words to you. I, it's unbelievable uh, that the Democratic Party uh, permits people like Tlaib and Omar and AOC to get away with this crap. It is so outrageous. This is the kind of stuff that is responsible to a great extent for the hate that you are seeing all over the country. And by the way, when it comes uh, to attacks upon Jews, there's a whole different standard. You know, Jews are part of, you know, the white class. We are the privileged class. So you can get away with doing terrible things against the Jewish people, and there are no consequences. The Democratic Party, you know, there are meetings in the White House to deal with anti-Semitism. It's a farce. It's a joke. It's not serious. Okay. It is pathetic. All right. Uh, uh, Dove Hyken, Rabbi Menken, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.